Well, I want to introduce you to Lisa Quinn, Executive Director of Feet First, an organization, nonprofit that is all about walking. Hello. Hi, Nancy. So what is the mission of Feet First? I know it's walking, but what's the detail of it? We advocate for more walkable places and encourage more people to get out and walk. So it's really simple, mm -hmm. but it has an important mission across the state. Now, I know, of course, walking. I'm a walker, as you well know, yeah. and great exercise, and you're in, get in shape. But what are some other benefits, at least from your perspective, on walking for transportation? Walking connects you to places that you haven't been. You can see a lot more at three miles per hour than you can at 30. Mm -hmm. You can see things and connect mm -hmm. with them in a different way and mm -hmm. um, build those strong bonds with people. I love seeing people I know on, on a regular basis or seeing their dogs and that kind of thing. It makes me happy, you know. Definitely. So let's talk about um, October. Is Walktober, which is it a very is. clever it is. Uh, title. So what is Walktober? What happens in Walktober? So Walktober is our signature campaign that we celebrate every October. Mm -hmm. And we celebrate it through encouraging people to walk to work, walk to school, and then walk for fun. Mm -hmm. So for walk to work, it's even if you live too far to walk the entire distance, maybe you can get off the bus a little bit right. early and walk a couple blocks in. Um, for walk to school, it's all around elementary and middle school and even high school students like making band. it fun. Yeah. yeah. And then walk for Fun is a number of different events happening across the state. Right, so the Walk for Fun, and I want to talk about one in particular, which is why we were here uh, at this park called Art Interruptions, right? And it is like a one mile ish walk that has uh, art by local artists all along the way. Mm -hmm. um, there's like seven artists I think are featured in this walk. There are, okay. yeah. Who are they? Or a little, tell me a little bit about the artists. So this is um, through the Office of uh, Arts and Culture. Mm -hmm. It's being funded through Seattle Department of Transportation. It's through their 1% for Arts. Mm -hmm. And so many of the artists are actually from the neighborhood, so in Southeast Seattle. So it's great they're connecting a local artist back to their community. Well, yeah, so one person. of the artists did, has been doing um, portraits, basically, of mm -hmm. some of the people who live in the community. Who's that again? That's um, Ulysses. Uh -huh. I just ran into one of the people that uh, he did a portrait of uh -huh. his name Solomon. Uh -huh. So it's at the corner of Holly and Rainier, so you can check that out. And it um, showcases him, a picture of him, um, and then also just identifies him, um, his cafe. So he's an owner of a local cafe. So there's that whole community connecting yeah. thing right, again, right? right? Um, and so the art is not super obvious. I mean, it's, it's fairly whimsical. It's on like the back of a sign or on some sort of a electrical box or whatever. Was that the parameters? Like you, it's not like big and installations, it's using what's almost like natural canvases that this that they're owned by the city. Do you right, know what I mean? Right, yeah. The whole idea of interruptions is yes. as you're walking, like, it oh. kind of sparks some creativity yes. of you might not even maybe consider it as like a full-fledged, you know, big mural, mm -hmm. but something that sparks your interest, gets you thinking. So it makes it kind of prettier, actually. You right. Know, the things that you might normally actually not even notice. Exactly. Right? Is, do you think there'll be different people that come to this this, this particular art walk or, or art interruptions walk than the normal Feet First events? Will it draw different people, do you think? Yeah, and the, uh, the nice thing about this is that it's right along a, uh, the new Rainier Greenway. Right. It's, you know, a place where it's slower for traffic for people walking and biking so I think people are coming out to explore that and then in doing that they're actually gonna have a chance to see this really great these little pieces it's kind of like a surprise and delight right of art along the way like that little they candies yeah well uh, I, I love it I love stuff like this because um, it's so great to engage the community in this way so art interruptions is up now like you said through the end of the year and uh, we want everyone to mark their calendar for Saturday October 1st because from uh, 10 to noon, right? Most of the artists will be on site next to their pieces so people can walk and meet the artists right. and ask questions and just enjoy an art walk with a bunch of fun-loving strangers, yeah. right? Yeah. Thank you so much, You're welcome. Lisa. Thank and you. everything we've covered, of course, is on the Feet First website. So are those are those good walking shoes? Oh, these are great. Those are really good? Yeah. No, the wedge is well, not a problem. No, not at all. No. Okay. You gotta look good when you walk. Oh, you have to look good when you walk. <laughs> That is so true. You don't want to look dopey. That's right. No.